Happy Arvo. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me yet again today um, for another Australian reaction. You know what it is. Um, today, I'm excited because I found this video. I mean, I was just looking for something about Australian police, and I found Australia's most elite and secretive police unit. Okay, so this is like the real badass. It's like the most badass police type unit, huh? It's the police squad so secretive, few know about it. Tonight, we've been granted special access to see who they target. I feel like as an, um, as an American, I'm not even Australian, I really shouldn't know about this. I feel like I'm, I'm like um, learning trade secrets. Like I could be arrested. And why? Lifting the lid on one of our best kept secrets. Oh God! This has been These guys are terrifying looking. Hidden away for some time. Television cameras have never been allowed inside <laughs> this highly secretive world <laughs> until now. There is nothing beyond. If these guys show up at your door, you just give up. On this team. This is Australia's most elite police squad, and you've probably... I mean, these guys got the actual kind of weapons that l actually look like they're from Call of Duty. You know what I mean? They're decked out like, man, <laughs> that'd be so cool. And you've probably never heard of them. Yeah, and that's how we like it. Wait, that's why they have the face mask on? They're actually concealing their identity? We're brought to an undisclosed location where the Australian <laughs> Federal Police Tactical Response Team is about to breach a building. A stun grenade's thrown inside as these operators... So these are Federal Tactical Response. Okay. Operators as so these are about as, as badass as you get. You, you only call these guys when something real serious is going they're down. They're known search for a fugitive. <laughs> This isn't a real emergency. Hold on. Tyler's calling me. What the heck? I'm going to have to block him. All right. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I mean, I know that was instantaneous for you guys, so it's not that big a deal. But I just had to I had to block my brother. He was calling me. You know, he can't have that during a reaction. Let's watch. Search. Oh, I turned my volume all the way down. For a fugitive. <laughs> This isn't a real emergency, but it's almost impossible to know the difference. I could tell it was fake. From terror attacks to hostage situations here and abroad, this elite team can be called in at a moment's notice. At their high tech Shoot. training I'm surprised during a training they're having yeah, explosions notice. go off like that. <laughs> right next to them. At their high-tech training Gotta facility, be prepared. there's a certainly going to desensitize them. Fake street, a kindergarten, police station, even a bus. Right now, we're inside. Now, I would not know that was fake. I would have thought I was just in in like some dystopian land, like abandoned zombie apocalypse. If you dropped me there. Made the villagers town hall, and upstairs, a gunman has taken people hostage. Oh gosh. Outside, police are on their way in an armored bear cat. They're about to smash their way inside. <laughs> Say goodnight, gunman. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at the news anchor. Just <laughs> It's like he's an evil uh, uh, super villain. He's in there waiting for the police. You know, it's like a movie like that. Like, yes, I knew you would arrive. <laughs> Even though it's a training exercise, it's a little confronting to be so close. <laughs> Everyone's off the truck. Shields and launchers. In another exercise, an unruly crowd has become a major threat. Forward, forward. Officers fire tear gas. Toyotas, huh? Gas. Reliable. And beanbag rounds before advancing on their target. As the team on the left of screen uses a chainsaw to access the building, watch as the operators a chainsaw. on the right set up an explosive strip. Oh, Those are the cool. The threat's taken out. 
Yeah, I'd say he's he's taken out. I'm scaling apartment building. Did you hear that? It's taken out. He's gone. From scaling apartment buildings to volatile sea intercepts and hunting down our most wanted, the tactical response team also and this is real footage. captured suspects netted by Operation Einside and the Anom app. We were able to Anom secure app. a number of locations back to back, not only make it safe for our members, but also for... Shout out to this guy. Hey, I hope you're watching. For the, the Whoever you are. That we're going after. We can't show you this operator's face for security reasons. No job is ever the same, and we don't know when they're coming. And they've got to get it right, because in this game, there's no second chance. It reminds me of the SEAL team that took out Bin Laden. You know, like those guys were anonymous for a long time. It makes it even more badass. Be at risk of serious injury or death. This footage taken on their assignments was pre- That might be <laughs> the last face you ever see, you know what I mean? Like, if you're seeing his face, yeah, you know who he is now, but you're not going to be able to tell anybody. Previously marked classified among the 135 operations they deployed to last year, a top secret mission to escort fugitive bikey boss Mark Buttle to Melbourne. Who is this guy? I want to know more about this. M Mikey? Secret who? mission to escort fugitive bikey boss Mark Buttle to Melbourne. Bikey Boss. I thought that was his name. <laughs> Bikey Boss. The accused drug kingpin had been living overseas, wanted for his alleged role in a $40 million cocaine import. In December, it was accused Islamic State... It's not easy to smuggle drugs into Australia, I don't think. That sounds really hard. ...fighter Nil Prakash deported from Turkey to Melbourne. The team also spent eight months in the Solomon Islands after violent riots left Honiara in ruins. In support of our Royal Solomon. I'm not even sure what this... I've never heard of these islands. Are they, is it one of the small islands that are like scattered um, east of Australia? Solomon Islands Police Force colleagues, we sent the tactical team in to help them restore order. Oh my God. Border restored. Getting into the elite squad is a mission in itself. We set them up fully with a human performance coach who tracks their progress through an app. They have access to dietitians, they have access to physiotherapists, they have access to psychologists. Superintendent Philippa Connell says it's a full. That's good. I mean, that's just good that they provide that, you know. Here in America, <laughs> probably not. 14 month selection and training process. Recruits are put through their paces from abseiling upside down. Now this just looks like fun. Like I'm actually jealous. I'm sure it's actually horrible, especially with this much gear strapped onto you, but I do love obstacle courses and rock climbing. While doing push-ups. One arm. Scouring the bush with heavy loads. Cool. One, two, three. Rescuing dummies and packing their mission bags. Oh, come on. You don't gotta... If you're rescuing someone, just because he got captured doesn't make him a dummy. Eight, nine, ten. To get them up to a point, like an elite sports team in a pre-season, before they hit selection, and when they hit selection... That guy's coming in with a mallet. ...sports team in a pre-season. A sledgehammer. Before they hit selection, and when they hit selection, that's like the first game of the season. So they're at their utter peak. <laughs> there is nothing beyond this team. So if this team isn't ready to go, this team isn't at its best, at its peak, 24-7, seven, seven days a week, there is nothing more than this. So it's incredibly important that we support and we deliver the best capability we can to keep it strong, so. Well, if these guys are showing up, you're not safe, but I'm glad the rest of Australia is. Damn, that was crazy. I love to see that kind of stuff. Um, always impressive. I'm gonna have to look up another video just on like the standard police units, but that was sure interesting. Badasses. All right. Thank you for watching. Happy Arvo. Hope you guys are doing good. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you're there. <laughs> Goodbye.